Daniel Hernandez, born May 8, 1996, known professionally as 6699, pronounced 69, or Takashi 69, also stylized as Takashi 6699, is an American rapper. His music has been marked by an aggressive style of rapping, while his controversial public persona is characterized by his distinctive rainbow-colored hair, extensive tattoos, public feuds with fellow celebrities, and legal issues. The rapper became widely known in late 2017 after the release of his debut single, Gummo. The song was a sleeper hit, peaking at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100, and was certified platinum. 5. 6699 subsequently released the mixtape Day 69, 2018, which peaked at number 4 on the Billboard 200, and contained the singles Kuda, Keek, and Gotti, all of which charted on the Hot 100. 6. A few months later, he released the single Fafe, which featured fellow rapper Nicki Minaj and producer Murda Beats. It marks his highest charting single, peaking at number 3 on the Hot 100 and acted as the lead single for his debut album, Dummy Boy, 2018. 7 8. Despite negative critical reception, Dummy Boy debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200. 9 10. 6699's outspoken public persona and legal issues have received significant media attention. He has been a frequent source of controversy for his conduct on social media and feuds with other celebrities. In 2015, he pled guilty to a felony count of use of a child in a sexual performance, and received a four-year probation period and a 1,000-hour community service order. In 2018, he was arrested on racketeering, weapons, and drugs charges. He pled guilty to nine charges including conspiracy to murder and armed robbery in February 2019 and was given a two-year prison sentence in December 2019 after testifying against fellow members of the Ninth Ray Gangsters. However, he was released early in April 2020, during the 2019-20 coronavirus pandemic, following fears over his vulnerability to COVID-19 due to his asthma condition, and was instead put on house arrest for the remainder of his term. 11. Early Life Daniel Hernandez was born on May 8, 1996, in Bushwick, Brooklyn, New York City 12, to a mother from Mexico and a father from Puerto Rico. 13. His mother, Natividad Perez Hernandez, came to the U.S. in 1988 to seek a better life and opportunity, she is also a diabetic and has had an operation on four hernias. Hernandez grew up speaking Spanish and has sung in Spanish in his two tracks Bebe and Mala in 2018. Hernandez has an older brother, Oscar Osiris Hernandez, his name is tattooed on the right side of his head. 1617, his biological father left when Hernandez was in the third grade. His stepfather was shot dead steps away from the family home in 2010. Following the murder, Hernandez was hospitalized for depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. Hernandez also suffers from asthma. Emotionally disturbed by the death of his stepfather, Hernandez started to act out and was eventually expelled from school in the 8th grade for bad behavior. Rather than continuing his education, he started working at various jobs such as being a busboy and a delivery boy at a grocery store to help his mother financially. Hernandez also dealt drugs to supplement his income, most notably selling cannabis and heroin on the streets while working at a local Brooklyn bodega. He was eventually arrested for his criminal activities and sentenced to prison time at Rikers Island, where he began to associate himself with the Ninth Tray Gangsters, a prison subset of the Blood Street Gang. Hernandez began his career as a rapper in 2014, releasing songs such as 69 and Scum Life. Other early songs were taken down by YouTube. Music Career 2014-2016, Early Career Hernandez began releasing rap songs in 2014, starting with 69 in August 2014, Pimpin', in September 2014, and 4769, in October 2014. Over the next three years, he released multiple tracks and videos with titles such as Scum Life, 
yokai, and housing station, drawing attention for his aggressive rapping style and use of anime as music video visuals. Many of his early songs were released by FCK Them, a music label based in Slovakia. Gathering fame as an internet meme for his rainbow dot hair, excessive tattoos and rainbow plated grills, he eventually became an associate of fellow New York rapper Zilikami. They later feuded after Hernandez allegedly stole instrumentals and songs they had made together. Pulse 1469, released in April 2017, featured Hernandez alongside Trippy Red on YouTube. 2017 to 2018, Day 69 and Dummy Boy. Hernandez rose to prominence on social media due to a July 2017 Instagram post that went viral on both Reddit and Twitter. Hernandez's commercial debut single Gummo was released on November 10, 2017, and eventually peaked at number 12 on the US Billboard Hot 100. It was certified platinum by the RIAA on March 5, 2018. 5, whose next single, Kuda, debuted at number 61 on the Hot 100 the week of December 23, 2017. On January 14, 2018, Hernandez released his third single, Keek, with Fetty Wap and A Boogie with the Hoodie, which also charted on the Hot 100. Shortly afterward, Hernandez announced his debut mixtape. Title Day 69. The mixtape was released on February 23, 2018, and debuted at number 4 on the Billboard 200 album chart with 55,000 album equivalent units, of which 20,000 were pure sales. According to John Karamanica of the New York Times, the tape was an outgrowth of the SoundCloud rap explosion, and was notable for its willingness to deviate from hip hop's prevailing sound. After the release of Day 69, Two songs from the album, Billy and Ronto both debuted on the Billboard Hot 100, with Billy peaking at number 50 and Ronto at number 73. In April 2018, Hernandez released Gutty, a remix of a feature he did for artist Pacman titled Got It, Got It. 38, the song's video was released on April 16, 2018 and involved footage of Hernandez donating bundles of $100 bills to poor citizens in the Dominican Republic. 3940, the song was added to Day 69 as a deluxe song and debuted at number 99 on the Billboard Hot 100 before dropping off the following week, making it his sixth consecutive Hot 100 entry. Hernandez stirred up controversy in May 2018 when he was involved in a shooting with the entourage of fellow New York rapper Casanova as part of a feud. This led to Hernandez losing a $5 million headphone deal and being banned from the Barclays Center. After the shooting, Hernandez stopped releasing music for several months, before releasing Toddy, featuring DJ Spinking in June, which debuted at number 43 on the Billboard Hot 100. In July 2018, Hernandez released his eighth single, Fay Fay, featuring Nicki Minaj and Murda Beats. The single debuted at number four on the Billboard Hot 100 before peaking at number three in its second week, marking Hernandez's highest entry on the chart and his first single to reach the top five of the Hot 100. Fay Fay was later certified double platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. 43, his subsequent singles, Bebe and Stupid also reached the top 30 of the Hot 100. In early October 2018, Hernandez was featured on the song All Else Reloaded with French house DJ Vladimir Kachimer and Kick with Danish singer Jim Million. 45, on November 7, 2018, it was announced that his debut studio album, Dummy Boy, was to be released on November 23rd, but on November 21st, it was announced that the album would be postponed. The album was ultimately released without notice on November 27, on all streaming services. 9. Despite generally negative critical reception, the album became his highest charting, after debuting at number 2 on the Billboard 200 behind Travis Scott's Astro World. While in Gal, 6699 was featured on previous collaborator A Boogie with the Hoodies song Swerving peaking at number 27 on the Hot 100, off the sophomore album Hoodie Asian. 
The song was released on December 21, 2018, alongside the album. 2019 Present, Second and Third Albums In October 2019, Hernandez signed a two-album contract for over $10 million with his label 10K Projects for one album in English and one album in Spanish. Musical Style and Influences Billy 6699 shouts out Treyway and Billy, but was later legally prohibited from mentioning the gang in his songs after an October 2018 settlement. Problems playing this file? See Media Help. Hernandez's music is generally categorized as hip-hop, 52, or more specifically, scream rap, 53, hardcore hip-hop, 52, sound cloud rap, and punk rap, 55, often incorporating elements of drill, 56, heavy metal, hardcore punk, grime, crunk, trap music, 59, and reggaeton. He cites influences including DMX, Tupac Shocker. The Notorious B.I.G. Kamazilla Kami and 50 Cent. Feuds In April 2017, Hernandez and Trippy Red released their first collaboration, Polls 1469, and in July 2017, they released another, Oh! Later that year, upon seeing a post from a Twitter account claiming Hernandez was a pedophile following the release of images and information by fellow rapper and Hernandez's detractor Zilakami, Trippy Red denounced Hernandez, saying, I'm sorry bros A, sick, 1400 don't promote pedophiles. If we give niggas clout, we give niggas clout. It was an accident. 67, on November 11, 2017. Following a series of barbs the two traded on social media, Red was attacked in the lobby of a New York hotel and blamed Hernandez and his crew in an Instagram Live video. 68, Hernandez later insinuated his involvement in an Instagram Live video, saying, I don't know what's going on, but your chin is bruised up. You can't just be out here calling people gay, bro. Can't be supporting false accusations. You can't be ranting on live talking about New York. Fuck these niggas talking about, New York this, New York that, like, you just can't do that bro. You should put some ice on that chin, it's bruised up. I feel bad bro. I just want you to be my friend again, before proceeding to sing the hook from Polls 1469. He was referencing a post by Trippy Red that showed Hernandez holding hands with another man with a caption insinuating Hernandez was a homosexual. In February 2018, Hernandez was assaulted by several men outside a Los Angeles airport shortly after arguing with Trippy Red on Instagram. Their feud continued to escalate with mutual internet trolling. Hernandez later accused Trippy Red over Instagram Live of having pedophilic sexual relations with fellow rapper Bad Bobby, who was a minor at the time. Trippy Red denied the allegations, and reiterated Hernandez's conviction for use of a child in sexual performance. Bad Bobby also took to Instagram Live to deny the claims, but admitted the two had kissed in the past, saying, We kissed but it wasn't that serious and he was 17 at the time. 70 71 72. However, this contests an account given by Trippy Red to the late Zxxtentacion regarding the nature of their relationship prior to it being publicly known. 73. After the dissolution of Trippy Red's relationship with his then girlfriend Alexandria Lavglia, 74, known professionally as Alex Hernandez, started posting videos of himself with her. Hinting at sexual activity between the two 75 76 77, after Hernandez's November 2018 federal arrest on RICO charges, Trippy Red mocked Hernandez's imprisonment in a video of him dancing to the tune of Bacon's 2004 hit single Locked Up, mimicking a jail scenario. Throughout 2018, Hernandez was involved in feuds with a number of Chicago drill artists from the Glow Gang Collective, including Chief Keef. Lil Reese, and Tate Owe, Chief Keef's cousin, stemming from domestic abuse and relationship issues relating to fellow rapper Cuban Doll, who was in a relationship with Tate Owe but also friendly with Hernandez. 80. The two continued to feud on social media, with Hernandez posting a video of his semi-romantic vacation to Hawaii with Cuban Doll to Instagram. 81. 
and driving up to Chief Keefe's old neighborhood and taunting him, 82, as well as contacting Iran Clark, known professionally as Slim Dandier, the mother of one of Chief Keefe's sons, and recording himself buying her designer clothes and verbally taunting him, and later receiving fellatio from her. 8384, on May 8, 2018, Trippy Red previewed the song I Kill People on Instagram, featuring Chief Keef on Tadoe, which was aimed as a diss toward Hernandez and Cuban doll. 85, on June 2, 2018, Chief Keef was fired upon outside the W Hotel in New York City but not hit, no injuries resulted from the incident. 86, due to the ongoing feud. Hernandez was confirmed to be under investigation by the New York Police Department for possible involvement with the incident, despite being in Los Angeles at the time. 87 88 89 90 In February 2019, Hernandez pled guilty to ordering the shooting of Chief Keith. Hernandez offered his associate Kentaku to be McKenzie $20,000 to shoot at Chief Keith. Personal and Legal Issues Further information, trial of nine Trey gangsters. At 18 years old, Hernandez conceived a daughter, Saralia, born October 29, 2015, with Sarah Molina, born January 17, 1996. Hernandez was involved in a child sex charge from 2015. 3594, in October 2015. Hernandez pled guilty to a felony count of use of a child in a sexual performance. He was charged with three counts of the offense after a February 2015 incident in which he had physical contact with a 13-year-old girl and later distributed videos of the incident online as part of a music video. Three videos are described in the criminal complaint against Hernandez. In the first, the child engages in oral sexual intercourse with the separately charged defendant Taquin Anderson, while the defendant, Daniel Hernandez, stands behind the child making a thrusting motion with his pelvis and smacking her on her buttocks. The child is nude in the video. The other videos show the child sitting on Hernandez's lap while Anderson gropes her breasts, and later sitting naked across the laps of Anderson and Hernandez. In a November 2017 interview, Hernandez claimed to have had no sexual contact with the girl and denied knowing she was a minor. Hernandez also claimed to have been 17 at the time of the incident, though the birth date listed in the complaint against him and in his statement to the police shows he was 18. Under his plea deal, Hernandez must obtain his GED, refrain from posting sexually explicit or violent images of women or children to social media and not commit another crime for two years, among other injunctions. If met, the plea deal will give Hernandez three years probation and he will not have to register as a sex offender. If not, Hernandez could face up to three years in prison. In a January 2018 court hearing, it was revealed that Hernandez had failed his GD test, but had his sentencing postponed until April 10, 2018. 9697 the court date was later postponed reportedly because the court did not have a copy of Hernandez's GD 98 prior to his sexual misconduct charges Hernandez served jail time as a minor for assault and the sale of heroin on July 12 2018 Hernandez was arrested in New York for an outstanding warrant related to an incident where he allegedly choked a 16-year-old in the Galleria Shopping Mall in Houston, Texas in January 2018. All charges were eventually dropped after the teenager decided not to take legal action. In the early morning hours of July 22, 2018, Hernandez was kidnapped, beaten, and robbed by three armed assailants in Brooklyn. He had finished shooting the music video for Fei Fei, featuring Nicki Minaj and Murder Beats, when the assailants grabbed him outside his home and pistol whipped him. The robbers eventually took over $750,000 in custom jewelry and approximately $35,000 in cash. Hernandez escaped from their vehicle and summoned police help via a stranger. He was taken to the hospital. 101, in February 2019, 9 Trey Gangsters member Anthony Harvellison was indicted for the July kidnapping and assault. 102, on October 3, Ellison was found guilty. 
Due to his continuing legal problems in light of his plea bargain, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office announced Hernandez could face up to three years in prison and possible sex offender registration for his 2015 case, 104, but he was instead sentenced to four years of probation starting in October 2018, with one clause being that he cannot utter the phrase Treyway in public as it was deemed to promote gang activity, as well as 1,000 hours of community service. 105-106 on October 27, 2018, two members of Hernandez's entourage were involved in a shooting in Manhattan and were subsequently charged with gang assault. On November 10, 2018, TMZ released surveillance footage of two men opening fire at the set of Hernandez's music video shoot in Beverly Hills, California, with Kanye West and Nicki Minaj. On November 16, 2018, Hernandez made his second appearance on The Breakfast Club radio show, in which he notably stated, There's only one thing I fear in life. No, two things. I fear God, and I fear the FBI. 109, on November 18, 2018, Hernandez, his former full manager Cofano Shadi Jordan, and three other associates were arrested. Hernandez is charged with federal RICO and firearms charges including conspiracy to murder and armed robbery, and faces up to life in prison. He is allegedly part of a violent sect of the Bloods known as the Nine Trey Gangsters. 110-111-112, Hernandez's attorney, Lance Lotzaro, advocated for bail for his client on the condition that Hernandez surrender his passport, pay a little under $2 million for bail, and be placed under house arrest, but the judge denied bail keeping Hernandez in custody that he may still be a danger to the community even if those bail conditions were met. Hernandez's legal team plans to appeal that decision. He was held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn under general population before being moved to another facility due to security reasons, as Hernandez had multiple altercations with fellow prisoners, including those belonging to the Crips street gang. On February 1, 2019, Hernandez pled guilty to nine charges. He was due to be sentenced on January 24, 2020, and faced a possible mandatory sentence of 47 years in prison. 113 114 115 On February 16, a plea deal document revealed that the rapper can avoid jail time in exchange for his willingness to testify against fellow gang members in concurrent investigations. 116 117 On December 18, 2019, Hernandez was given a sentence of two years after testifying against the Ninth Ray Gang. Judge Paul Angel Mayer gave Hernandez credit for helping prosecutors send several violent gang members to prison in 13 months' time served. On March 22, 2020, while serving his time in prison, Hernandez requested to serve the remainder of his prison sentence at home stating he was at a higher risk of contracting the COVID-19 virus due to his pre-existing asthma condition. On April 1, 2020 Rolling Stone obtained a letter to the judge from United States Attorney Jeffrey Berman saying that the government does not object to the release of Hernandez early on home confinement. 120, on Thursday, April 2nd, 6699's lawyer, Don Florio, confirmed with Double XL magazine that the court decided to allow the rapper to be released from prison and into home confinement. He was originally set to be released on August 2nd, 2020. Charitable Work In September 2017, Hernandez visited students at a school in his native Bushwick and made a donation. In March 2018, Hernandez visited the Dominican Republic to shoot a music video. While there, Hernandez handed out $100 bills to residents in the area. Hernandez stated on Instagram, I grew up not having shit in Brooklyn. Everyone knows me for giving back in my community but as a Latino I feel the need to help my people. I'm not Dominican. But we are all one. In the midst of his feud with Chief Keefe on June 12, 2018, Hernandez visited Chicago's South Side and gave food and cash handouts to local residents. On July 24, 2018, 
Hernandez announced that a percentage of proceeds from sales of his Nicki Minaj assisted hit single Faith A would be donated to various youth programs in New York. On October 22, 2018, Hernandez met and spent the day with Tati, an 8-year-old Brooklyn girl terminally ill with brain cancer whose wish was to meet him. Hernandez took her out for a shopping spree. Hernandez has made a significant monetary contribution for the Christian Rivera Foundation, a non-profit organization founded to raise awareness and support clinical research for a very rare form of brain cancer found in children called diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma DIPG. According to the founder of the organization John Rivera, Hernandez has been a supporter since November 2017 and offered to appear as a guest at the 10th Annual Gala on November 14, 2018. John Rivera also stated Hernandez has done many kind acts that have gone without media coverage or documentation. On February 10, 2019, a video surfaced of Hernandez in an anti-violence against women commercial for Romantic Depot, a New York-based sex shop and laundry store chain. 132, the commercial video was released on Valentine's Day and went viral on TMZ and other celebrity news sites.